Welcome back to our channel. At this video we will learn new Primavera P6 tricks. At the end of this video, you will be able to know how to create and modify cash flow report in Primavera P6. This is a totally free tutorial, so don't forget to support us by clicking the thumb up and subscribe. Without wasting time, let's start. To modify your cash flow report in Primavera P6 you need to go to Tools, and then choose the option Reports. From here go to the Project Group Cost and Schedule. Then click your mouse right click to Project Cost. Then choose Modify which will ask if you're sure that you want to modify. Click Yes. Then from Wizard which will allow us to modify this report. Now we will choose New Report option, then click Next. From here select the time distributed data, then click on next. Here we can select the columns we want to show in our report. I will remove activity status. I will add activity name here, and then click on apply and ok. From groups and sort, you can choose how to group and sort data for your report. And for filter we will use get a report for a specific area we can filter from here. Now click and this will take us to time interval field here. From here we can choose time interval, and show our earned value like the planned value cost. And also, from cumulative we can add cumulative planned value cost. And we will add cumulative earned value cost. Then press OK. Click Next. Here we will rename our report. We will name it Cash Flow Report. Click Next. Now from here we can run our report. Choose Print Preview so you will be able to review your report before save the final copy. Now we can see our report preview. It gives us all activities planned value, earned value, cumulative planned value, and the cumulative earned value. We can also get this report in HTML format. We can choose the save location. I will save it at the desktop. Next press OK. This to replace the file already exists. I will press Yes. And here is report. This how we can create and modify our cost reports in Primavera P6. Wish this video was useful. Thanks for watching.